Good morning. It's the morning after the night before, or indeed the day before tomorrow, or it, it's today. <laughs> the day is today. It's today. It's uh, Sunday the 17th, Blickling Half Marathon, time check, obligatory time check. It is 6.50, or otherwise 10 to 7. jam on toast before going to run the Blickling Half Marathon and some coffee. Yeah man, feel a bit nervous but it's all good. Right, I'll, I'll walk this down and I'll be back. That was gone in like 30 seconds. Yeah, I'd like to give today a good go. I uh, shall see what the course is like and take it from there. Um, Paul's not running this one. He's on holiday with other men. <laughs> not, <clears throat> not in that way. I mean, I don't know. Uh, his wife, Angela, is there. She might be there as an observer. I don't know. Um, I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, so it's bear runners, bear runners, bear runner on his own today. So yeah, we'll see how it all pans out. I think this was the first mar half marathon I ever did. Um, so I've definitely done this route before. But yeah, I guess we'll just see how it all pans out. Most important thing is to enjoy it. I've got a choice of trainers today, which are there so we've got these which are absolutely cracking the adios pro threes um they are stunning trainers really light to wear or the nimbus a6 nimbus 25s <coughs> they've been the workhorse for marathon training and the Adios Pro 3s are definitely the race the race day trainers that I'm going to wear those for the marathon I haven't done a half marathon distance in those yet so I think I'm just going to stick with the workhorse training shoes for today ok they're not racing shoes but I'm confident and comfortable in them and if I can get a good time in them, well, yeah, there we go. Got my already pinned on. It's probably wrong or it's probably not even. These are quite good things, which you can get at Sportslink. We'll put the details to Sportslink below. Um, which, yeah, I so say you don't need... Um, you don't need pins with those, they just go on. I shall catch up with you, the people, on the other side. Just w while we're here, um, and we've got a spare minute, I thought I'd just go through the books that I'm reading at the moment, because they're quite fascinating. I can hear Paul sort of going, oh, Jesus. Um, so we've got, I hope this picks it up, The Heart of Understanding which is an immensely profound book. We've got Weird Scenes Inside the Canyon, Laurel Canyon, Cobra Ops, and the Dark Heart of the Hippie Movement, or Hippie Dream. We've got um, The Daily Stoic, which is a lovely book. Um, we've got, this is classic, a classic book, um, Emergency Questions. And hooligans are still among us. 
So, and that's where I write, actually, yeah. So in here, I think is all, I think is all my third album so far. Yeah, look at that. Look at all of that stuff to do with my The Accidental Anarchist, which is what it's going to be called. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the books that I'm reading at the moment. Um, just thought people might want to know. Pop down below the books you're reading. It'd be interesting to find out. Just, and I've talked about this quite a lot, but got my kind of um, visual metaphor, my thing to pull my mind back if I need to, that I wear, because sometimes your mind can get caught up in its own space. Um, it's funny what you think about sometimes when you're running, or I'd love to document maybe something called the runner's voice, because we all have that internal voice. Where do, What does your voice say when you're running, particularly in a race? What does that internal monologue those difficult thoughts, what do they say? What is your runner's voice? Because we've all got different ones, but we've all got one. Absolutely all got one. Um, it'd be fascinating to find out what different runners' voices say to them while they're running, and how do how does the runner get over that, I guess? What's their trick to carry on when the internal voice is saying, slow down, slow down, give up, or all of that, um, what do they do to navigate around that? Um, do you have any mantras when you run? I found one that's quite beneficial for me at the moment is to repeat in my mind, there is only now, which I find quite helpful when my mind is going forward into, oh God, I've got another three miles or whatever, especially during marathon training with the long 20 mile runs and stuff. I've gone back into there is only now, there is only now, and that kind of helps you stay in the present moment. Um, it'd be interesting to find out what other techniques people use while they're running, and what is your voice saying, your internal voice, what does it say to you? Right, it's 7.25, just going out of the flat to meet my friend Claire from North Norfolk Beach Runners. He was very kindly um, offered to give me a lift. Yeah, big shout out as well to Andy, Andy Cat. Thank you, my friend, for all the kindness and thoughtfulness and generally wonderful stuff you have been helping me with in the marathon training progress, which is kind of at its height now. Can't thank you enough. An incredible person. Um, I'm babbling. Yeah. Andy Kett, the runner's clinic. Check him out. He's a dude. Also, I haven't decided if I'm going to run with the camera today. I guess I probably should do to get some footage or content, but uh, I'm not 100% sure I will. We shall see. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for Claire to arrive and then we're off to Blickling. Blickling half. Let's do this. Boom. I obviously didn't record any. Uh, I think it was five seconds off a PB, but it is what it is. There we go. Let's get let's get some footage of people finishing. Well done. So it's one hour fifty. I think. So Claire will hopefully be coming in at some point. What a way to finish a marathon. God, I am absolutely delirious, I've just observed. I'm done, I've worked so hard today. 
that was the hardest I've ever run and I was five seconds off but it is what it is there we go I'm very very happy with that result beach runners Claire go Claire go beach runners Come on, Claire! Last push, Claire! Come on, beach runners! Go on, Claire, you got it! Go on, Claire! Last push! Go for it! I think, think she might have heard me. Magic mushroom. Magic mushroom. So it's the day after the day, which was the day, today, so which would make it <laughs> I'm not getting bogged down in the whole what day it is it's not the same day that I did the race so it would be tomorrow but it's the present moment in the present time <laughs> um, I'll do a time check but it's, it's 5 past 11 in the morning obviously because it's light um, well cook a cat that was a hell of a hard race that was really, really hard. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was five seconds off a PB, but I got that PB on a flatter road half marathon. So I did pretty well. Um, I think I came 47th overall, which for me was amazing. Out of 500 and something, we'll put the stats down. Um, My official time again we can put it here but it was 139 40 or something 45 so yeah it was about five seconds off but it was a tough tough course 90% trail um, but yeah it, it was good it was a good place a good run to find out where I was fitness wise and I'm exactly where I need to be for the marathon for the marathon um, it was hard. It was a really hard half marathon. I'd quite like to maybe look at do Cambridge next year, half marathon, to see where I am speed-wise. I think the winner of it was 1 hour 15, I think. But yeah, I think it went, it went well, actually. Hang on. So yeah, there's the, the Blickling one. Some habit savage hills, but yeah, um, there's not a lot else to say, I guess. Uh, I didn't ache the next morning, slight, slightly painful, maybe a little bit. Um, did a half hour recovery run. Looking forward to the marathon now. Paul seems to be doing well, I think he's home from his holiday with a other men but he seemed he's doing well he's covering longer longer runs longer miles but yeah I think we're all we're both in a good space for the marathon coming up I'm glad I also I'm glad I wore the shoes I wore the A6 Nimbus gel Nimbus 25s or whatever they are um, they seem to work well boom come on We'll see you next time. Another quick shout out to Claire who ran um, with me on the day. Um, well done to you, my friend. Awesome. Boom!